when i tell you i'm harassed on a daily by you guys for my hair routine i mean harassed hey guys it's neha and i'm here to show you guys my 2022 updated curly hair routine i'm here to give you guys an in-depth full routine on how i achieve my bounty to find and minimal frizz free curls when i tell you this routine is foolproof i mean foolproof like once you perfect it your curls can never look bad i'm here today to share all my curly hair secrets with you guys so without further ado let's get started so i just washed my hair in the shower i use the mark anthony coconut collection in the shower if you know me you know i live by them i've been using them for years and i've never had a single problem so i just apply the shampoo like normal and then i use this little tool which helps me get rid of all the gunk and the buildup that you don't want sitting in your hair and then i just apply the conditioner but i only apply the conditioner from the middle to the ends and then leave that in for three to four minutes and then rinse out and that's literally it i don't scrunch my hair in the shower i don't turn it upside down i just wash as normal the only other thing that i do is while the conditioner is sitting in my hair that's the time where i would take to detangle my hair so the way i detangle my hair in the shower is i start in the ends and then work my way up this way you're not breaking your hair by constantly ripping it out like that so now that i'm done washing my hair it is time to actually put the products in and i'm going to go ahead and re-wet my hair so now that my hair is soaking wet, I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. This is my holy grail. This is the one product that actually saved my curls. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rake that in thoroughly throughout my hair, not forgetting the back. I'm just going to start with this much product and then I'm going to add more product as I work my way through my hair. And if you see me looking this way, it's because I have a mirror in there. Okay, so now that the leave-in conditioner is right through my hair, I'm just going to take this curl defining cream and do the exact same thing. And I take about that much for my entire head just because I don't want that much product into my hair, which will cause my curls to weigh down. when i was breaking through my hair i went into motions kind of like this pulling away from my hair and that's what will cause my curls to go from all the way from the roots that makes sense that will cause my curls to curl all the way from the roots and also make volume so now i go in with the avita smooth infusion this is just a frizz cream frizz cream is totally optional but i just like having that extra security that my hair is not going to frizz up throughout the day and i also take a very little amount in my hands just so my curls don't weigh down again This next step might sound a little bit odd, but before I put in my gel, I like to let my product sit in my hair for a good five or six minutes. This might not work, but I swear, I don't know if it's my brain convincing me, it just lets the gel apply so much more smoother. So I'll see you guys in five or six minutes before I apply gel. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and my curls have been marinated, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and soak my hair in water before I apply gel. Trust me when I say this is the number one way to get rid of frizz. I mean it. So now that my hair is soaking wet again, I'm going to go in with my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel. I recommend just going for any medium hold moisturizing gel. I don't really like strong hold gels just because I feel like it takes away from the moisture and all the products you just put in. So any moisturizing medium hold gel should do the job. So the way that I like to apply my gel is I like to section off these front pieces. They're just really annoying. And we're going to work with them later. So I'm just going to clip that back and work on this section first. So I'm kind of like a gel hoarder. I have too many because they make the biggest difference in the world. Also at this time, make sure your hair is still pretty wet. So I just take about that much and I'm just going to start by raking it through my hair. And then you can just scrunch a little bit just to get that curl back. I also go in and just finger curl some stubborn pieces I have. And don't forget the back. I just realized how my it looks. I'm also going to go in with more water and a little bit more gel just to ensure that my curls stay frizz free because more water means less frizz. <music> So now for the front pieces, I'm just going to take that out and I'm also going to reapply water on this since it dried up a little bit. With these strands, I'm just going to take, I have like hair all over my hand. 
just... so as i was saying for these little strands you're just gonna rake the gel through ensure that they're soaking wet and i go ahead and i just start finger coiling the front strand So I went ahead and I finger coiled the front strands of my hair. The reason why I only do the front and not the rest is simply just because I'm lazy and I don't have enough patience to do the whole head. The whole head can't speak. In all honesty, if the front looks good, who cares about the rest of the head? So now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing I did on this side to this side. whatever leftover product that's in my hand and hair i'm just gonna go and smooth over the tops just to make sure that there's no flyaways so now that all the product is in my hair and my floor is literally soaking wet it is time for me to diffuse my hair but before i diffuse my hair i let my hair air dry for 20 minutes just to let the gel set in and then i go in with the diffuser okay so my hair is now 30 percent dry it's been around 20 to 30 minutes and now it is time to diffuse my hair so i use the dyson diffuser you totally don't need an expensive one at all before this one i've been using like a six dollar clearance diffuser so it really doesn't matter what diffuser you're using so the heat settings that i use is i put my blow dryer always on low heat and low air and then when i'm done half drying my hair half dry drying half of my hair i go in for the second air that was not english that was not english the air settings i keep it on one and then i increase it to two when i'm like 50 percent done drying my hair i'm not gonna go through how i diffuse my hair in depth just because i feel like that should be a whole different video and that's gonna take too much time but i am gonna give you guys this time lapse <laughs> One tip I can give you guys while diffusing your hair is do not constantly scrunch your hair like this or that is going to cause frizz but instead to just cup your hair and hold it there for a good 5 to 10 seconds just to avoid your hair getting frizzy. My food is here. Okay, so I just finished diffusing my hair and I just had a breakthrough. I think I was supposed to look at the camera and not the screen. I don't know if my eyes look weird now. I'm just going to continue looking at the screen because it's easier for me. But I just finished diffusing my hair and I know my curls are looking crazy right now. They're not looking the hottest. But trust me when I say the last two steps of this routine, I'm just going to pull the whole routine together. It looks so good. Just, just trust me. So the second last step is to take any hair oil. I'm using a curl enhancing by... Lucetta. I don't know if I'm saying that brand right. You don't need a curl enhancing oil. You can just use any oil, argan oil, olive oil. Like, I honestly don't care. Just take any oil, put that in your hand, and then scrunch it through your hair. So I just scrunch this through my hair just so the gel that's left over can be scrunched out. Okay, so my curls are looking a lot better already, but it's lacking volume over here as you can see. It just needs a lot more protection if I'm going to wear my hair out throughout the day. I'm going to use this Climate Protection Hairspray by Tresemme. I love this. I'm going to spray a very light amount. You don't need a lot at all. I'm literally going to get rid of any little frizzies I have. To add volume, I just lift the roots and simply just spray a little bit of hairspray. I shake or you can take a pick too and then voila. But I get a lot of controversial questions about hairspray. Like, is it sticky? Does it make your hair feel hard? Does it make it feel coarse? But honestly, yes, it does make your hair feel hard. Not sticky, but it does make it feel a little bit coarse. I'd rather have curls that look like this that feel a little bit coarse than to have soft curls that are just poof up. Okay, so this last step is totally optional. I only use it because I like my hair smelling good. But get some hair mist or get some hair oils and just put that on your hair. Just so my hair smells good. Just seal the whole scent together because my hair kind of smells like hairspray at the point. Also, if you didn't know, these little guys double as hair mist. So I love to spring this into my hair. Like just so. And that did not make sense, but you know what I meant. And that concludes my 2022 curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this. If you do try this curly hair routine, please tag me. I would love to see the result. But let me know what videos you guys want to see from me on here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!